Today I'm going to show you how to make my bare head wand. Take a Mocha Brown 350 with a four finger tail and we're going to start by making two bubbles of about three fingers and we're going to bring these bubbles together, wrap them together and we're going to use the nozzle to make pinch twists. So we're just going to pinch twist those two bubbles. Next, take your blush 260, and that's probably got a six finger tail on it, but we're not going to use all of it, so it's not critical. And again, we're going to start with two three finger bubbles, and we're going to pinch twist those in the same way. So just wrap them together and use that nozzle to make a pinch twist. You can just twist the two of them. Next, we're going to make a small bubble of two, two and a half fingers and we're going to take that and wrap it into those two pinch twists in the Mocha 350. With your 350 give it a bit of a squeeze and we're going to measure a bubble of about six fingers or so. And then we're going to make another bubble of three fingers and we're going to pinch twist that bubble. And then you want to come across and make a bubble of perhaps about four fingers followed by another bubble of three fingers and we're going to pinch twist this one okay and then we want to make another bubble that matches this one so twist that off and wrap that bubble into this cluster of the uh, pinch twists at the neck rearrange everything so that your mocha brown, the rest of your mocha brown bubble, bubble is coming down here, that's going to be the, the handle of the wand and then we've got this little, these two little pinch twists and this bubble here sticking up and that's the back of your bear's head. You want the rest of the blush coming out the front like this and we just want to make a loop twist perhaps about four fingers or so and then wrap that in at the neck and at this point we can break off the rest of the blush and just wrap in that tail to secure it so take these two pinch twists and just part these two bubbles here and pressure fit those two pinch twists in between those two bubbles Next, you want to take a black five inch round. This is about four fingers or a little under three inches. And with the uh, nozzle, just pull the nozzle through that loop twist, pull it through the hole in the head, the back of the head, pull it quite tight and wrap the tail around those two pinch twists. Get hold of that nose and just pull it up slightly to hold it in position. Take a white 260, this has got a good long tail, we're not going to use very much of it, so again it's not critical. And make two bubbles of about three fingers. And wrap those two together and use that nozzle just to make a pinch twist. Okay, you can break the rest off and tie. Take a black 160, again with a good long tail and make a couple of two finger bubbles, bring them together, just twist them together there, use that tail, that nozzle to pinch twist, okay? And break this off, but leave yourself a decent tail. Take your eyeballs and your pupils, and we just want to put them together and use that tail just to secure those in position. Take your head, your bear's head, and position the eyeballs on the bridge of that nose and use this tail to pull through and secure into those two pinch twists at the back of the head. So I'm going to make a little bow tie for my bear. Take a 160 with a, a good long tail and just make a loop twist of three to four fingers. Take the nozzle and just pull that through to secure that. 
make another loop to match that one and make a pinch twist of a couple of fingers. Okay, so we've got our little bow. So break this off. If you want to give the bow a little bit of shaping, just pull the loops apart a little bit. Take your bear wand and your bow and with that tail, just pull that into those pinch twists and wrap around to secure. I really hope you like this design and that you've enjoyed the video. Please remember to uh, give me a big thumbs up and to subscribe to the channel. I publish videos every Tuesday and let me know what you think of this design. Is this something that's going to be useful to you? Leander, you asked for a, a bear head, so here you go. Hope you get a lot of use out of it. Remember to head over to Balloon Artworks Academy Facebook group. Join me there for more content and tips and advice. And I'll see you again in the next video.